This film is surprising me based on some of the stuff I've heard about it. And it's not exactly in a good way. So, Ghostbusters. I've talked about this before. In fact, um, my Ghostbusters um, videos were some of the oldest videos I did on this channel, in fact. I reviewed the trailers for the new one, even though I still have not seen the new one. Strange as that's worked out. Um, but anyways, Ghostbusters. I watched the first two. I like the first two. They're definitely cult classics, and I really enjoy them. Um, I've definitely rewatched it. I don't know how many times on Netflix. They're so much fun. Um, the newest Ghostbusters, I still have not seen it. I did cover the trailers, but the trailers were pretty uh, pretty funny. I definitely wanted to see it. I just haven't had the time lately, even though I did buy it to do so. Um, I should have maybe watched it in preparation for this video. Shame on me. <laughs> then I have actually a little more to say about that one. Um, but I did hear the response to it, and it was pretty much mixed. I was really surprised. As a Ghostbusters fan, I was like, well, apparently people did not respond to it as well as probably... Um, um, Sony was hoping, it's Sony, right? Sony's the one putting this out, I think that's the case. So, they're trying this again. We'll see how this goes. But, based on what I'm hearing about it, and I, I do like to give credit and credit's due, but in this case, I don't remember who said this. There's a, something I heard that said they're casting kids for this new Ghostbusters movie, which seems a lot of franchises do that. But I don't... I, I'm not fully on board with it. Unless... But even still, I, I'd like the ever case to be true. I want to see a Ghostbusters sequel. I mean, as sad as it is that, um... Um... Harold... Or, um, yeah, Harold Ramis. I got... I always get him and Rick Moranis cast up. Um, mate, Harold Ramis, rest in peace. It's very unfortunate that he's... Or that he did pass away. And we won't be getting him in this um, newer film. Because Egon was such a treasure. He's well, Actually, out of all the Ghostbusters, he was probably my favorite. But it, as long as they have... This is the project I'd prefer to see for Ghostbusters 3. One where you bring back Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, um, Harold Ramis, if that were still possible. Well, they could digitally. Now, um, that Rogue One did that. Even though, I'm not sure people will respond to that. I, I don't know. It was mixed on Rogue One too, so even though I liked it, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay, but moving on from that, Ernie Hudson. I'd like to see a film that brings the the trio of them, or maybe maybe the group of all four, back, full full in front and center of the movie. That's what it should be. Ghostbusters three. I don't, I don't need a Ghostbusters hand me down to the kitties. Even though again, that'd be understandable. And, and then it would be like, okay, if you're gonna pull that one on me, you need to have, um, you need to have the original Ghostbusters in there. So that's that's the thing that, that they need to consider with making this movie. You need the original Ghostbusters. I don't know if that's confirmed yet because I really haven't followed this new news. I mean, the most recent news I've heard again has been based just around this trailer we're about to look at for this new project. Um, but they need, if they're gonna do this. They need to bring the original cast members back. And I understand they did for the new one, but from something I read, it said they weren't even playing the, the same characters, which is really odd. Uh, so I, I have no idea. But they need to bring the characters back in their original roles, just so you know we can have that Ghostbusters movie kind of chain off from the things that the Ghostbusters fans you know, of old have been familiar with, right? Thing, people like me. Um... But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this project. Again, I'm very... We'll see how I feel about this based on this teaser trailer. Uh, but we're going to watch this first. It's 51 seconds long. It's pretty good length. And we'll talk about more like in Dentistry's and Falls watching the video together. Okay. I'm a bit nervous. I've given... I've given the studio... Isn't it Sony making this? I've given them all like a hint at okay, to make it worth it my while. Here we go. Uh-oh. Something strange in the garden shed. <laughs> yeah, really something strange. The tractor ghost? <laughs> I've come for your crops. <laughs> oh! 
Summer 20... Oh, it's kind of like the, the original logo. Okay. Summer 2020. That's a ways out. Wow, that... That teaser's coming, what, about a year and a half in advance? That's, that's a long, far out one. Um, okay. They really want to get the news out here, I guess. So, like, get ready to buy your tickets. <laughs> um, but it's probably going to be a while till that happens. So, obviously, the biggest tease in there is the, uh, the um, what are they called? Is it the Ecto? Was that their names? But the Ghostbusters van, right? That's pretty clear what that icon is. Um. I really, I, I'm going to check this really fast. I want to see if they've officially, because again, I haven't looked into this, um, if they have the original Ghostbusters coming back at all. That's confirmed. Because, nope, I don't see, I'm looking at IMDb, I don't see anything listed. Um, I don't know. I, I really hope that they take my advice. And I'm trying to speak for pretty much every Ghostbusters fan out there of the like the originals who want to see that carried over. If they're going to make this a sequel, um, can we please make it feel like a sequel? Can we make it feel like it's a fair entry in the D in, not DC, in the Ghostbusters universe? Can we make it have that, you know, quality or have that triple or quadruple quality that we were familiar with in the original, which was, of course, Egon. Um, oh, it's been a while. I forgot their names. Um, but Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, Ernie Hudson, Dan Aykroyd. Can we have... Or, and to be fair, um, the other people as well, uh, Rick Moranis, Sigourney Weaver, they, they contributed a lot too. But can we have, you know, can we have their presence be um, kind of brought back, brought back to life for this new franchise, or for this new movie. I don't know if it's going to be a franchise. Um, we'll see. But, well, it already is a franchise, but I don't know if they're going to continue on with like, so many projects like a lot of our franchises do. But that's what I would ask for them. It's like, please, please keep in mind, you know, what came before and bring it back. That's really what I want to see, kind of a return to the old that we were all familiar with. So, those are just kind of my thoughts on the on this. It, again, the teaser is coming really far in advance, so no doubt there will be more to talk about. I'm sure when trailers come out and stuff, we'll start seeing more of this movie, and we'll start getting a better window into where they're going with it. I I really hope they consider what I've said because I, I again maybe they, maybe you have a different view on it. Maybe you've um, used a supplement mine. Whatever the case, they should really listen to the Ghostbusters community, and they should really heed kind of, where, at least, where their minds are at. And their minds are in, this, are in the originals, in the spirit of the originals. I really want to see, like, an original film again. I really would love to see an original film in that likeness come back. So we'll see what happens if Ghostbusters. We have a little while to wait, but I'm sure we'll have some plenty of stuff to talk about come maybe a couple months or weeks down the road. We'll see.